And now a special address from the President of the United States on global warming. Hello, America. It's me, your, your President, your Commander-in-Chief of the world. And I'm here at my, my ranch here in Crawford, Texas, just, just taking a little R&R, &R, you know, relaxing, growing out my soul patch, playing a little Frisbee golf with Condi Rice and Dick Cheney, having a good time, but, but still keeping my eye on the ball. And there's an issue that has come to my attention, the issue of the so-called global warmings that are happening on our, our planet. For centuries, the rays of the sun have warmed the surface of our Earth's crust. And uh, apparently those rays are, are intensifying in such a way that uh, it's increasing lava flows. And... Uh, Cut. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Global warming is an issue that my administration is, is very concerned about, deeply. Deeply in a deep, kind of concerned way. It's, uh, I, don't, I start my day and I think about the warming of the globe and how we can get it warmer. Cut. Rest assured that the issue of global warming is something that my administration takes very seriously. The, not right now, Condi. We'll play later. I'm sure by now you've all heard what liberal scientists are trying to say. It seems that, uh, that liberals and, and godless tax raisers are, are trying to make me look bad by using such things as facts and scientific data. Cut. What? Mr. President, you can't say they're using facts. Right. The facts are real. They're not disputed. How do you know that? What kind of book is this? Jeez. Why didn't you tell me it was a pop-up book? Those things scare the crap out of me. I don't think that's the kind of science book we're looking for. We're talking about global you, well, What kind of science book would you suggest? Well, there's, there's a lot of books. One filled with facts, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I bet you'd like that. When you think back to biblical times, when Adam and Eve talked to that snake 6,000 years ago, when the world was created, it was hot back then too. Why do you think Adam and Eve were naked? You see what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not making this stuff up. You know, you didn't, you didn't hear Adam and Eve running around talking about emission standards or hybrid cars. In fact, Adam and Eve drove an excursion. Cut. Let's talk about something that, that really matters, like keeping steroids out of T-ball. I think the polar ice caps suck. Who cares about having a place where a bunch of penguins can have an orgy? Cut. Global warming, don't worry about it. We've we got to beat on this thing. We're going to, you know, we just need to get nature to cooperate with us. We don't need to listen to nature. Nature needs to listen to us. Cut. Mr. President, you asked, asked me to tell you when the Rangers game's on. It's oh, on right now. What inning is it? Better not be past the third inning.